lot of ground to cover. True, but unlike your boy Asab, we've got an advantage. The three symbols. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, let's see. We are right about here. I can mark it up as we go. Check out that tower. Bet you could get the lay of the land from that top. Maybe. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for us all. Perfect. Not that I'm too worried about him, though. No. You should be. We won't have the advantage of surprise again. Don't think he was expecting much from you. Wait, was that a compliment? That, that sounded like a compliment. His guys are idiots, but a solve is... We just need to stay... Where are you going? Want to climb it with me? I really want to, but... Uh, someone should keep watch for Asav's forces. Good call. <laughs> Up and away. My... So far, so good. Here's our three symbols. Well, that took less time than I expected. Tucked into the mountainside. I'll just mark that on the map with an axe. And behind door number two. Huh. Wonder what that could be. For future reference. Let's see what's behind the trident. Another old fortress, just beyond those waterfalls. Trident mark on the map for you. Last but not least, the Bodor. And another old fortress, sitting smack dab in the middle of the lake bed. I'll jot a bow on the map in that spot. climbing up. Well, was it worth the climb? And then some. Found the three symbols. Really? Yep. Each one was pointing towards a different fortress. Those will be the best places to look. Perfect. All right. And we were talking about... What were you saying about Asav? Oh, right. His guards may be idiots, but Asav is... We just need to stay the hell away from him. Never understood the appeal of people like Asav. Easy. He finds men who are weak and offers them power. Gives them purpose. Purpose? Sounds more like bullshit to me. <laughs> How'd you get tangled up with Asav anyway? Purpose? Rather not go into it. You certainly seem to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. 
proved useful at the time, but... No. Uh... What? Shit. The site's compromised. Interesting circular motive. Like the disc. We're definitely in the right place. Look up there. Parashurama's bow. Matches the symbol in the tower. So, Parashurama. 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 Who was he again? Okay. Six avatar of the god Vishnu. A fearsome warrior. Right. Still wrapping my head around it all. Hard to say. A fortress? Not the right layout for a temple. <laughs> nice to be out of that shithole, finally. I was starting to think the boss was all talk. I'd watch your mouth. Sorry. Caesar! That's it. We're clear. Probably alluded to the others. Can't be helped. Come on. You boys really don't want me shooting from down here. No escaping me now. Okay. We're all clear. Won't be the last of them. There was a big truck parked out front. We'll keep our eyes open. Would have preferred a head start over a salt. Not much we can do. Besides, doesn't matter who starts, only who finishes. Follow me! Hear me? Huh? Find some. I think we're good here. Men down over here. Look around, people. Start to search. What the? I'll take that.
Is secure. Yes, it is. Let's press on. Just what I was going to say. Some kind of mechanism. Here we go. Perfect. That should do it. Tight. Oh, stand. Stand tight. <laughs> Beg your pardon? Doing all right? I'm fine. <laughs> okay, guess this isn't the way in. There you are, having fun. Impressive. Thanks. Come on. Well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient horse and jigsaw puzzle? Sharama. Now what? Now I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. I think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Now there's being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a good night, I know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. <laughs> Did you hear that? You feel that? Treasure. Mm -hmm. mm. Look at that. Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried that we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learned a lot. Hoysalar Empire was kind of his thing. <sighs> Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go. Digging for treasure, I better make a buck or two. Oh, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. 
family business. Hmm. Made a real mess of it. Lot you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? There's the fort above the waterfalls with the trident. And there's the fort in the mountains sporting the axe. I suppose I should have asked about the Drakes before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well, Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. Let's find a way to get back down to the car. Yeah, sounds good. Ah, oh, this is open now. Waterfalls and mud. Check. Hey, just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about him. I had my concerns. <sighs> Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side... Oh, there's a plus side? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. You always work... Oh, hold up. Easy. Asov's men have that sight. Anyway, like I was saying, have you always worked alone? Mostly. How old were you when you started? Young. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way, and then I could get the upper hand. Too subtle for me. I always preferred the direct approach. Yeah, whatever works, I say. the military expert. What's Asav's strategy here? He spread out his men, hoping to stop us in our treks. Not what I would do. So what would you do if you were Asav? Besides lose the beard? Hang back? Let you do the heavy lifting, then swoop in and grab up the task once you've done all the hard work. Devious. Practical. Mitigates a lot of risks. Lucky you're on my team. Yeah, you are. I'm a little surprised Asav's not doing the same thing. Maybe this expert knows more than we think. Right. All the more reason to wrap this up quickly, then. Like we've got rebels ahead. Check it out. It's Kanesh's trident. It's 
spotted this on the tower too. Ganesh, remover of obstacles. Is the gate secured? Not We've yet. Back. Waiting on Cobra Just keep Eight. Just this quiet as long as we can. Should be fun. Start's clear. Hmm. Okay, that's not it. No, this. What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. What's this? That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. And how about you? That's two. Here's another one. Three down. Only one left. <laughs> Last but not least. That should do it. Okay. Back to the big wheel thing. Big wheel thing? Whatever the archaeological term for it is. The big wheel thing works. Come on. Looks like we're going under. Radio. <laughs> There's our faucet. Northern. I'm guessing this one needs to look like a trident. Good guess. This one's a bit trickier. It's Ganesh. Hello, sir. Right. 
Missed doing the water on. Well, well, what's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Boss and I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. <sighs> and off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand on the outskirts of Halibadu. That's pretty funny. Last stop, the fort embedded in that mountain. That'll be the one with the axe. At least your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought them Maurice. You're no fun. Fraser, incoming reinforcements. Figures. We shall see. Hello, brothers, where are you? You see? Do a sweep. Ross and Fraser might still be here. <laughs> Someone took him out. Safety's off. All right, everyone spread out. Shit. What? Another one down. Oh, no. Shit. They must be nearby. All right. We're clear. For real this time. You handled yourself on. All things considered. What things are those? No real combat training. Ah. Slightly impulsive. Run around the field like a maniac. Need to learn what short, controlled burst <coughs> means. All right. And lost, wearing red in a jungle combat scenario. I mean, seriously. <coughs> Just the one by the mountain left. Indeed. Makes more sense why it solves after the tusk now. Figured he just wanted the money, like us. He'll use it to rally people to his cause, wavered in the government's face. Just like all the other times. This has happened before? Oh yeah. Ever since the young king lost to the Persians, everyone's wanted to lay claim to it, to this land. 
And here I thought we were just going on a treasure hunt. We are? Let men like Asav fight over it. It's none of our concern. Fighting wars was my concern for a time. Good point. But you did it for the cash. Usually. What about when you worked for Asav? <laughs> Definitely a cash grab. Hardly worth the trouble. Ouch. Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd start with the worst of the boys. Over there, in that cliff wall. See that archway? Looks intact. You coming with? Feel like stretching my legs. Right, Eo. Alrighty, let's roll. What is this place? You got me. <laughs> well, will you look at that? Monkey. You seem excited. I like monkeys. Looks like there's something in the structure there. Yeah, monkeys. Besides monkeys. <laughs> what have we here? Let's see. Is it just me, or does that look like a map? Looks like our map. Huh. I'll just jot that down. Interesting. Some kind of Hoysala token. What about the symbols up there? Symbols? There's a slot. Just the right size for a token. Let's give it a whirl. Is this one of the spots on the map? Yeah. Wonder what happens if we find them all. This going to help us get the task? Don't think so, but... Extra cash. Right. Right. Come on, let's get back to it. <sighs> hey, no hitchhikers. Shoot. Oh, you're no fun. What, you want shitting all over the seat? Looks safe. Smells safe. Let's go. Okay, so we were talking about... So as I was saying, I worked with the Sob to establish my rep. Figured I'd start with the worst of the bunch. Nowhere to go but up after that. Beautiful out here. Hey, might be more guys over there, yeah? Once more, with gusto. <laughs> hey, look. Shiva's axe. Man. Glad I climbed that tower, eh? Who's the god of destruction? Yes, but maybe not in the way you're thinking. So not blowing <laughs> Definitely not. Hey, I don't have a chance. Sure, in reverse. You're welcome. Here we go. Ah. Salah versus the tiger. Doesn't seem like a fair fight. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. Where? 
I'll learn something new today. There'll be a quiz later. They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. Correction. Our climbing gear. Yeah. Okay? Slightly deep, but I'm good. Good. Let's keep moving. Oh my. What the hell is this? We'll find out soon enough. Okay, let's see what this does. That statue moved. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. Oh shit, statue moves. Uh, look out! Uh. Ooh, that was close! Uh. Uh, shit, shut up. Ah. Uh. Oh, turns out getting walloped by an axe hurts a little. I'll bet. You alright? Yeah, all of the day's work. On the job. I'd rather watch the master. Flattery gets you everywhere. Also, rather not get hit by axe. Ah! 
Near miss there. I think that did it. Come on over. Coming. Oh, for goodness sake. Three statues with two different symbols on them. A star and a priest. They're all voice of our sun symbols, but I like your description better. We had one more to go. How did you know that? Everything always comes in pills. Oh, we'll see.
Fresh air. Let's make an axe. Nice to see you, Shiva. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. Whoa! Shit! See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. Here we go. Let there be water. Now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. My partner turns my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with a bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. What the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want a salve to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, love. Let's head back to the car. <laughs> Gotta love a shortcut. Glad we don't have to go back the way we came. <laughs> I would have made you dodge the axes. <laughs> Time to do it. Right. Look, for what it's worth, it's your kick ass reputation that got you this job. Plus, I figured you could use the money. You're not wrong. Honestly, though, it's actually nice working with a woman for a change. <laughs> Too rot. Not many of us out here. This one arms dealer demanded to speak to the man in charge, then tried backing out when I informed him I was running the show. Uh, what did you do? Broke both his legs. <laughs> You're not kidding. Just trying to level the playing field. Oh, don't cross Ross. <laughs> I should put that one on my business card. Well, hold on. Small squad of rebels here. Got it.
Pick it back up? Yeah. So, anyway, can't you just walk away to be done with Shoreline? I was born into it. I don't have a choice. Oh, there's always a choice. suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. The Hoi Sala certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. Their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know yet. But I'm guessing we should give that a try. Should we dance? Try not to break it this way. Sassy. What the hell? Now that's what I'm talking about. Don't say I was expecting that. You ready? Yeah. Just, um, taking it all in. to downtown Halabadu. Last known resting place, the task of Ganesh. Spectacular. <sighs> huh. And what? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? Must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Hang on. Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. But that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. <laughs> Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm... Oh. Oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Halibadu? Yeah. Come on. 